Several years ago, during Donald Trump's presidency, the Department of Justice initiated an investigation into Hunter Biden, the son of presidential candidate Joe Biden. Trump was reportedly unaware of the investigation and was upset when Hunter Biden publicly disclosed being under federal investigation for a tax-related case shortly after Trump's election defeat. Under Joe Biden's presidency, Hunter Biden was charged with two misdemeanors for tax evasion in 2017 and 2018. Additionally, he faces a separate charge for failing to disclose drug use when purchasing a gun in 2018. Hunter Biden's legal troubles seem to be heading towards resolution as he and his lawyers appeared in a Delaware court, prepared to plead guilty to the tax charges. The plea deal was part of an agreement negotiated with a Trump-appointed prosecutor, which stipulated that Hunter Biden would not face prosecution for the gun charge under certain conditions. However, the plea deal encountered obstacles in the courtroom at the last minute. The presiding judge expressed concerns about the scope of her role in a pre-trial diversion agreement, raising questions about decision-making authority that might be best suited for the executive branch. Another critical point of contention was the extent of immunity that the government would confer on Hunter Biden if he pleaded guilty. Details about the specific language in the plea documents are not yet public. The defense sought broad immunity to safeguard against potential future prosecutions, especially in the event of a Trump presidency. As he had vowed to pursue investigations into the Biden crime family. On the other hand, the government aimed to limit the immunity to crimes they knew about and had investigated, leaving out any potential unknown offenses. Although the concerns raised in court may have political undertones, they primarily revolve around legal implications. Hunter Biden's team could be apprehensive about granting power and privilege to the executive branch, considering potential uncertainties about future administrations. Members of Congress, particularly Republicans, including Nancy Mace, have commented on the dissolution of the plea deal, implying the possibility of an impeachment inquiry into both Hunter Biden and Joe Biden's alleged involvement in financial misconduct. However, Prosecutors tend to disregard such statements as they focus on the legal aspects rather than political discourse. The breakdown of the plea deal was unusual but not unprecedented in high-profile cases. Plea agreements commonly undergo scrutiny, and occasional hurdles arise during the process, garnering more attention when high-profile individuals are involved. Experts expect the legal and political hurdles surrounding Hunter Biden's case to be addressed potentially allowing the plea deal to move forward eventually. The resolution will have implications for Hunter Biden's legal standing and how his actions might be scrutinized in the future, depending on the political landscape. In conclusion, the Hunter Biden saga remains the subject of intense interest in political debate, with the plea deal facing challenges in the courtroom. The outcome will shed light on the extent of immunity granted to Hunter Biden and may have implications for potential investigations depending on future political developments.